My name is Teresa. I am 56 years old. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm addicted to my hairless threats. This is my Coco. I have Nellie here. This is my sweet comes blindy, and she is my little pride and joy. I'm known as the Rat Lady. Teresa's addiction began 10 years ago when a boyfriend introduced her to hairless rats. Now her studio apartment overflows with 52 of them. The first time I seen one, I was kind of repulsed by these critters with no hair. Now we're a unit in a family together. I love you. I felt I've made many bad decisions, poor choices, and did not do everything I should have done. My family hasn't had any contact at all with me, so my rats give me this unconditional love I can't get anywhere else. My mom's addiction is, it's a weird addiction and obsession that she has. Like, who really is addicted to rats? It's not normal. Teresa treats her rats like human companions. My rats just love to eat anything. You can make spaghetti for them. Pizza, chocolate, and cupcakes. Come on, you cheeky butts. Look at these happy munching faces. Teresa also sleeps with her rats. We all get comfortable. The group will lay over there in their little blanket. There might be two or three that's laying near me. Teresa's unemployed and struggles to pay her rent. She often buys rat food before she pays her bills. I just got this on the door. It's an eviction notice. Me and my rats could be out in the streets. She feeds her rats before she'll feed herself. It's crazy. Mm, your favorite. Uh oh. If you want to be part of other people's lives, then you have to learn to be more responsible. You know you can't afford to keep these rats. Why would you ask your daughter to buy your rat food? I'm ashamed of that, and I'm sorry I did at the time. So now you need to make a change. Now is the time. Not next month, not a year from now. Now. I don't know if I can part with them. They become so dear to me.